-hmm. You know, about five people that died in Washington State. You heard that in the news? Yeah, and uh, someone died in the Orleans, too, in not too far away, close to Mostly nursing homes. Nursing homes. Yeah, and someone died in the, um, close to in Hampstead. Two people died in Hampstead, what those kind of things. It's, New it's, Hampshire. It's, New Hampshire. Uh huh, it's close to May. I just listened to where they all last this morning and um, main where they all they talk about it. Two people died in Hampstead. Well, what, what did they die from? Because I didn't hear anything about New the Hampshire thing. news. I mean, I heard about in um, Washington State. But you don't, but a lot in California too. Um, but you don't hear it because it's local. First of all, it was one, then it was two. Then all of a sudden, today, they say like three more people die. I'm like, wow, five people already dead? Oh my goodness. That's a lot of people. Yeah, it is. The same way in Maine, too, uh, New Hampshire. New Hampshire, I heard about it. Two people get, one still alive, but one died already. Oh, I think the, older woman. The, the thing that gets me about that virus is not like, okay, like the flu, you know? Like, if you have the flu, if you have the flu, right, and you were in the room with me right now, right, I'm not going to be afraid because what are the chances, you know, if you stay like on the other side of the room, chances are I'm not going to get the flu, <laughs> you know? But the thing about this particular virus is you have to like cover yourself. Look at those people. How they covered up with gowns, with face masks, with mask in the face. So that means that's a very serious virus because um, it's not like the flu virus, you know. Because I've been around people who have like the flu, cough, okay, you know. But I'm not thinking, well, oh, you know, this person has the flu. I'm gonna get the flu. No, I don't think like that. But with this thing. It's like, oh my goodness, it's like so contagious, you know? Like, um, uh, I think it was yesterday, I was reading that, that article where a, a Chinese woman sneezed on the taxi driver in Bangkok, Thailand. And he came down, he came down sick with the coronavirus. <laughs> Imagine that. She sneezed. She didn't even cover her mouth. And next thing you know, he came down with that virus. And and when you're sick like that, sometimes you, you could end up in the intensive care unit. You know what I mean? I mean, I know a number of people who have been sick with the flu, but they don't end up in the intensive care unit. But this thing, mm -hmm. people end up in the, in the ICU. So that's very serious. Where is the virus come from, you know? They know how to. I don't think people can treat it, but you just have to be careful. But they, <coughs> this comes from South Asian people, probably Chinese people. <laughs> oh my goodness. You got to get in shape before you come to New York. I'm not going to New York right now. Well, no, you can't because look how you look. I mean, look how you look. You don't want to come looking like that. I want, if I walk out, if I walk out my building with you, you got to look good. You got to look in shape. I don't want people to see me walking out, walking out my building with an Asian woman that's fat. You know, that isn't going to look right. <laughs> Not going to look right. Yeah. I'm not fat, Wayne. With, with, all, with all the Asian women that I know, why get it, Why should I be walking with one out of my building that's, that's, that's fat? There's something wrong with that. No, I'm not fat. Yeah. You know, it's funny, um, you know, I'm, I was on Paul Talk, I think it was yesterday, yesterday, and uh, there's, there's a guy, he said he's in Turkey, and he sees the picture, 
the girl in the picture with me in the on the YouTube, you know, the girl from Thailand. Yeah. And he said, Oh, that girl is pretty. And he was asking me about her, you know. And he asked me, um, do you mind, do you think she would mind if we have a, a threesome? <laughs> I'm like, what? Are you crazy? The guy wants to have a threesome <laughs> with her. That's what he wants to do. Yeah. So 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 he thinks that I'm gonna be that crazy that the girl in the picture with me, I'm gonna allow him to have a threesome. Me, him, and uh, her. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know? So I should have a threesome with him and her. Yeah, some guy in Turkey. Yeah. yeah. Some of those men are some of those men are crazy over there, and they mo it's a Muslim country too, mostly Muslim Turkey. So this is how they're thinking. So I, I sent him to my Instagram, and he said, "Oh wow!" He said, "Wow, you got lots of women." I said, "Yeah, I know a lot of women over the years." Yeah, he looked at the Instagram account. He saw a lot. So he was asking me, I said, well, you know, you can go out there and meet women too. Same way, <laughs> same way I met them, you can meet them too. <laughs> yeah, you can meet them why, too. Why men so crazy about women? Because I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about men. And I don't care about women. I have to be my own self. I'm not a bad yeah. looking woman. I can get sat if I want to. I don't want sat because sat is so disgusting. When you, when you were here, weren't some men calling you too? When you were walking outside my building, there were men yeah. calling you? Yeah. For me is for me is for me is I don't trust a woman. There were men trying to get to know you, to know who you are. Yeah. All, all, all the men when I go outside, kind of Black guy like me. I don't like them. Yeah, there were men trying to get to, to know you. And uh, the girl named Debbie said, don't pay attention to those guys. They're just trying to get into your pants, she told you. Yeah, they said, that, that, Debbie, the girlfriend, the girlfriend going to come and beat you the ass up. Oh, Debbie <laughs> told you that. Yeah. Debbie probably doesn't know. Maybe you, maybe you want one of those guys in your pants, you know? She probably has no idea. You probably want one of those guys in your pants. Yeah. Well, I don't want one. But you ain't going to tell Debbie that. Yeah. You ain't going to tell her that. You probably do. In your pants. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna let go. I'm gonna go brush my teeth, change my clothes, sleeping clothes, and I'm gonna sleep. All right. See you in New, see you in New York sometime in the spring, I guess. Yeah, it's boy town. Not right now because I have to walk really hard. Um, I have to save some money and just pay my bills. I really careful with the money. So I don't feel like go anywhere because people are disgusting me at the moment. Where everything going on, New York City is a lot of Chinese people. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want to get sick. Yeah. So like everything going yeah, on. Yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking of taking a trip to Montreal. You know, like mm -hmm. three days going on the bus. But then I say, you know what? It's cheap. It's like a hundred and something. 
and those buses usually Chinese and English. There's going to be a lot of Chinese people on the bus, and who knows what the hell what's going on, you know? And yeah. uh, I may just get an infection on the bus with these damn Chinese people. So I decide, no, I'm not going to go to Montreal. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to go nowhere because. If I go places and um, it's not good because people think that a lot of people ask me, are you Chinese? I say, no, I'm not Chinese. Hello, I live here the rest of my fucking life. I live here in May. So if you don't know the fuck you think I'm Chinese, fuck off. <laughs> they say, oh, okay, <laughs> I live in May long time. So don't get me quiet about it. If you from out of town, think I live, I'm Chinese, you don't know me. If you from out of other country you look at me here and my boss say no she's not chinese she's from me she, she lives a long time you know so i go up here so well, you, don't, you don't look chinese yeah so chinese see, got, uh, chinese tend to have yellow skin you don't have yellow skin so a lot of people look at me a lot of people look at me like that, you know, are Asian, so I, they think Asian people can get them sick, you know. So I really can I worry about Asian people too. I try not to be close to Asian people because I live in good environment. I don't have a lot of Asian people here. A lot of people doesn't go out of the cow, so I safe. I really safe here. So yeah. Yeah, not Asian. A lot of people live here. They're local. They never been to other country. They never been anywhere besides Florida. So, so I'm good. I don't get sick. That's why I say I'm not worried about those things. Okay, Wayne. Good night. But you need to be careful because you live in New York City. A lot of Chinese people. So, careful. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good night. Well, well,